So I got my new project in today, guys. Welcome back to my channel, Don with Tech PC. So, 32-bit monster. That is what we're going to call this project. So it just arrived today. You can see the box is over there, all empty and pretty. And that is the new project. This computer is from 2005. 6 2006 so it's about 14 years old or so um, it is running on Windows XP and it is 32 bit the idea of this is that we are going to fully mod this thing out I want the fastest CPU that I can put in it the fastest RAM the fastest graphics card for the error which is I don't know like a, a G4 6800 GT graphics card still going for 170 bucks on Amazon but that might be a small sacrifice we have to make now what started this whole mess guys was that I was trying to get this game this is command and conquer generals it has both zero hour and generals in it and I used to play the crap out of this game and I was great at it. I was very fast well, I tried to put it on my 64-bit monster over there, but I was unable to. I tried so many things, uh, different programs. I, I tried um, different settings and and running emulators and and I mean just all kinds of crazy stuff, and it just didn't work. So the only way that I'm going to get this thing to work is to put it on a Windows XP 32-bit computer and that's what we got right here and the reason why I need to max it out is because I want this game to run as fast as possible this is going to be the only thing on this computer we're not going to have anything else because I don't want no other unnecessary processes running on it so it does have IDE and SATA I think it's SATA 3 3 gigabit per second um, it should have, I'm going to check the specs on it and make sure it really does have it, but it should have a 3.2 gigahertz Pentium processor in it. Uh, I think it's 2 gigs of RAM, 160 gig mechanical 7200 RPM hard drive, which was very important. I wanted a 7200. I wanted the fastest hard drive that I could get for that time. I probably could go to a SSD, but we will see. Um, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. Uh, DVD drive, I'm not going to mess with it. One thing that I am thinking about doing is case modding this sucker. I'm thinking about cutting it out and relaying it out and redoing some things to it. But first thing I need to do is hook it up and see a, if it actually boots and if it runs and if there's anything wrong with it. So that's where I am today and that's where we're going to get started on, guys. So yes. This is going to be my new vlog series called the 32-bit monster and it starts today and you guys are the first to see it. Awesome. So give me that like. Boom. Alright. Here we go. It's working. It's spinning all the little... Let's see here. Yeah, everything's going... Oh, wait a minute. What's it say? Yeah, wow. It booted right into Windows, guys. That's good. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Right into Windows. Alright, so let's see here. Let's see if I can't. Let's, uh. Oh, wait a minute. I don't have any mouse movement. I don't. I'm not getting any mouse movement. Let's see here. Ooh, yeah, I'm not. Is it because it's a laser mouse or something? Or is it thinking about it? I don't know. Maybe it's thinking about it. This is a USB mouse. USB gaming device, USB compost, PS2 plus keyboard found, USB composite device, USB gaming, human interaction device. Okay, look at all the stuff it's finding. See it? So, yeah, and I got it hooked to the internet right now. So, okay, so I'm going to let it do its thing and I will pick it up at a later time. I'm going to see if I can't get the, uh, the task manager to pull up and see what what kind of hardware we're running so yeah okay so I got a couple things done and what I'm currently what I'm currently doing is de 
uh, basically I'm defragmenting my hard drive. Uh, first you have to fragment your files and then you have to configure them and then you have to defrag it and that is what we're doing right now. Um, the red indicates fragment files, the blue, sorry, the blue indicates continuous files and green is unremovable and all of this is free space. All that white is free space. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get these files put in optimal order so I can go through the brute the boot priority and then whatever systems are not of importance are going to get knocked off. Um, but right now we're at 3%, so this could take a while. Let's see here. Alright, so I just finished defragging the system and I was just kind of looking at it and I noticed that if I pull this right here the hard drive slides out nice and easily that's kind of nice can you guys see the the heat sink that's in there check that thing out man that thing looks pretty uh let's see if I can pick it up a little bit look at that that looks pretty beefy um I may keep that and work with that I may do something with that uh, I was actually really impressed to see that tall of a heat sink on I mean wow that's, that's pretty cool uh, especially for this old of a computer but I will show you something though I just noticed it look it has a dang floppy disk drive in it oh my god that that give you an idea how old this system is it has a floppy disk in it I'm, I'm I don't know if I should keep that I think I ought to keep that just because it's very iconic for this era of computer and then that leads me to the power supply I'm sitting here reading the specs and the max output is 305 watts yeah we're definitely going to have to change the power supply that is a given so I'm gonna go ahead and finish some of my software tuning get rid of some files and then I'm gonna try to upload my my game and see what happens so yeah I just kinda wanted to show you guys that look at this thing this is the ID the IDE cable that connects the motherboard to the where is it at up here it connects it to this to the DVD or to the uh, uh, floppy disk that's that's crazy right yeah no I'm sorry it only goes to the floppy okay so that's just a floppy disk thing so if I take the floppy disk out I can eliminate the IDE cable which is cool because these things are hideous uh, nobody likes this that's why they got rid of this it's it's a slow speed and it's just it's ugly to look at so if I eliminate the floppy disk I can eliminate that cable and I may just reconsider what I just said about keeping with the tradition because I really do not like that I mean even with this nice little handy dandy clip and with the cable management of it it just it sucks unless I could hide it and run it up underneath the board or something I don't know I'm thinking about chopping this case up I haven't decided exactly what I'm gonna do with this project yet my main concern was just to get it running and get the files and get everything done to where I can get it ready to go and go from there so yeah one thing at a time guys but yeah 32-bit monster awesome okay so I got it pulled up let's see here I'm trying to get this a focus so it does have Windows XP 2002 this is the service pack 3 which is what I want it and then right here it says Pentium 4 CPU 3.2 gigahertz uh, and then it's 2 gigs of RAM and that's exactly what I ordered um, because a couple of the reviews were that people didn't get what the specifications said but I I did so that's good and I tell you what this thing is actually running pretty pretty smooth I mean it's quite fast once I get it tailored to the way that I want it oh man this thing is going to be so much fun I can't wait I can't wait because uh, it's already running great and then once I put some performance into it I gotta search out the motherboard I gotta figure out what kind of motherboard it is what socket it is and then see if I can get a better motherboard for the socket but I believe that this is OEM so if my memory serves me correctly with these old systems 
I can't change any of the physical hardware in it because then it's going to mess up the product key. So, but I'm pretty sure I can change the CPU, the RAM, and the graphics card, and then some of the other things. But, you know, just changing the CPU, the RAM, and the graphics card, hell, that is the computer. The only thing I can't change is the motherboard and the hard drive. But what are you going to do? It's 7200. That's, ex that's the fastest anything would go back in the day, back, you know, 15 years ago, back in 2003, 2004. And see, I was in high school back then. I graduated high school in 2006. So, yeah, I was in high school when this thing was manufactured. Cool. All right. Um, oh, power supply. Okay, I went ahead and got a better power supply, and then I got me an RGB keyboard to go along for the ride, which is uh, pretty stellar. It's blue. This right here is the, uh, uh, what's it called? The DB Power Backlit Gaming Keyboard. I actually did a review on this, guys. Uh, check out my video. I'll uh, Maybe I'll link it into this video, so that way you guys can see that. And I did a Warrior Power Supply review, too, which is uh, the power supply that I'm going to put probably in this as well I gotta make sure that all the pins will work so but yeah awesome guys 32-bit monster project coming at you I can't wait give me a thumbs up if you're excited as I am awesome stay tuned for the next one guys bye